Here in the Windy City, will the Dodgers finally blow the Cubs away? Hi, I'm Bill Plaschke, sports columnist, Los Angeles Times, with the terrible metaphors and another Dodger playoff first pitch. Tonight, Game 3, NLCS, Wrigley Field, Dodgers up two games to none after the incredible Justin Turner walk-off home run on Sunday night at Dodger Stadium. I still have chills. I'm sure you still do, too. Is that blow enough? to knock the Dodgers into the World Series for the first time in 29 years. Well, we'll find out starting tonight. The Cubs' backs are against the wall. They're starting Kyle Hendricks. He shut down the Dodgers twice in the playoffs last year. He is the clear ace of this Cubs team. He's become their best postseason pitcher. It's a tall order for the Dodgers. They're countering with Hugh Darvish, the guy who was brought here from Texas specifically for this moment, has done well in the playoffs so far, shut down the Arizona Diamondbacks in his first playoff start, struck out seven in five innings, walked none, allowed just one run. Hugh Darvish against Hendricks, a very, very tough matchup. This should be a pitching duel. And the Dodgers just hope it comes down to the bullpen. The Dodger bullpen has retired 24 of the 25 batters it has faced in this series. They have not gotten a hit off the Dodger bullpen. And you have to wonder, where's Chris Bryant? Where's Anthony Rizzo? These guys have barely showed up. And of course, Joe Madden showed up big, the manager for the Cubs, and putting in John Lackey to face Justin Turner. That was an incredible decision. Quite the mistake that was. We'll see if Wade Davis gets out of the bullpen tonight for the Cubs. In general, just the Cubs, they're hanging their head. The people in this town, there doesn't seem to be a big buzz here. It seems like this is already predestined. The Dodgers are going to the World Series, but they got to win two more. The first one is tonight.